Welcome. My name is Sneha and today we are going to learn velocity time graph. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So till the time you're watching this video, you know exactly what is the concept of graphs. So what is the job of a graph? The job or a purpose of a graph exactly is to show one quantity over the other quantity. Now, the independent quantity is on the x-axis while the dependent quantity is on the y-axis. And on this graph, you can put anything, anything like age, innocence graph, in or uh, age intelligent graph you can't put anything any category whatever you want now in today's video we are going to learn how velocity varies with time or how the graph of velocity varies or uh, appears with time in particular we are going to learn the velocity time graph now why are we going to learn this or what is the purpose exactly that we are taught this that's because velocity can vary a lot and by lot i mean a lot like you can move faster 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 you can move slower 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 or you can go like slower then faster then again slower it can be anything it can vary a lot now to understand this thing, let's take an example. Okay, so if I tell you that if somebody is not moving, what is its velocity? Well, obviously it's zero. And what if it remains zero? How will the graph look like? So, what exactly happens is that there is a time on x-axis and velocity on the y-axis. Now, uh, we were talking about if somebody is now moving, which is, it is having zero velocity. But the time is going on. The velocity is now increasing, but the time is going on. So, how will the graph look like? It will be a straight line on the x-axis. Okay? Now, if I tell you that the speed is 10 meters, so what will it be now? Okay, so the speed is 10 meters, but it remains at 10 meters. It is no increasing after it. So, how will the graph look like? It will be 10 units away from the x-axis and there will be a straight line after it. Exactly, the line of 10 meters or uh, the line that was representing the speed of 10 meters per second is going to be parallel to the x-axis. Now, the same happens for the speed of 20 meters per second. What happens is that the line or the graph is 20 meters away from the x-axis and then it remains there. Okay, so the line is straight and it is parallel to the x-axis. So, oh, after seeing these examples, we come to a conclusion. And what is it? It is that if your velocity does not change, your line or your graph is going to look a complete straight and it is going to be parallel to the x-axis. Now, let's take some more interesting examples. Now, you are riding a bicycle and your speed is increasing 5 meters every second which is that is going to be 5 meter then 10 meter then 20 then 40 and so on okay which means that your speed is increasing constantly but it is increasing at a fixed rate of 5 right so how will the graph look right it will be somewhat like this it is going to be a line like this although the line is no parallel to the x-axis the line is going to be straight. And why is it going to be straight? Because that motion is a uniform motion, right? So, from here, we know one thing about graphs and that is, no matter what graph it is, 
if the quantity on the y axis is changing constantly with respect to x axis the line is always going to be a straight line which is the representation that the thing is going in a uniform motion and why because the slopes give you the change with the respect to y x axis the change of y and here the change in y is constant which clearly means that the graph is going to be a straight line or it is going to represent something that is constant or uniform and what is a straight line a straight line is defined that has a constant slope so you will definitely get a straight line okay great now we are going to make it a little bit more interesting what we are going to do is that we are going to just change this straight line and make it more curvy wavy okay now how will we do it okay let's take an example again suppose you are riding a bicycle and your speed is increasing 5 meters every second and not just your speed is increasing but it is going more faster and faster and faster which is your velocity is increasing as well as the rate of velocity is increasing which is if for example i am going from 0 to 5 then i go 5 to 10 then i go 10 to 20 then 20 to 30 30 to 50 so on and on so how will the graph look like it will be somewhat like this some ups and downs with lots of them right so here not just your velocity is increasing it is getting larger and larger for the intervals of time now let's take one more example how will it look like if i say you that in the beginning i accelerated too hard and then my speed slowed accelerated more slowed slowed and somewhat like this it is going to be like at the peak and then drop down up down somewhat like this right so as these things are so complex we are going to learn something that is simple and beautiful where the velocity is increasing but it is increasing at a fixed or at a constant rate now what is the change of rate of velocity known as it is called acceleration and what is acceleration it is something defined as the rate of change of velocity with respect to the time and if the rate of change is constant the average acceleration which was the change in velocity upon time is going to be the actual acceleration simple and beautiful so the slope of the velocity time graph gives you the acceleration because the change or the rate at with the velocity changes is defined as the acceleration now let's do a quick revision okay so if there is a straight line in a velocity time graph it shows that the motion is in uniform velocity now here if you see a straight line but it is not parallel to the x axis then it is somewhat like this and what do you say about this you say that the body is in uniform acceleration now if you see there is somewhat a curve line what do you say about it you say that the acceleration is increasing obviously but the rate of increase is not constant i hope you understand everything that i told you in this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it comment if you have any doubt you can also follow